Hello and welcome to another episode of my Wild Knitting Podcast. Today we are in a new setting. We are in a newly built greenhouse that me and my partner built. And yeah, let's just dive into the episode. Hello, welcome, welcome back if you've been here before and if you're new here, hope you'll enjoy the content. I love to share some glimpses of our life here uh, in the mountains in the center of Italy. We finally moved, uh, we've been living in our off-grid home that we're renovating for two weeks or something and I'm currently inside my greenhouse which we built and it's my favorite place <laughs> right now it's raining you might hear the raindrops on the greenhouse roof uh, we built this greenhouse with um, repurposed wood and some this kind of hard plastic and it's kind of standing next to the house so that's where I'm in um, I woke up 30 minutes ago I made some barley and coffee beverage and I have also some <laughs> herbal infusion here so I'm going to be here for the next few hours filming and sowing some seeds I need to connect my camera to the charger it's gonna be a chaotic episode but we're gonna try we're gonna try our best this is going to be a regular knitting um, podcast episode. I'm going to share with you my projects and my dreams for the spring and the summer. And yeah, I've been knitting also some projects for the spring and the summer. So I'm wearing some knitwear as usual. I would say that I wear knitwear and things that I make, I would say 90% of the time of my waking life even more probably 95 i always have some knitwear it doesn't matter the season i always wear knitwear um and i feel really good about it so today i'm wearing four knitted objects <laughs> i'm wearing Ali's socks <laughs> so my friend Ali she also has a podcast Ali in sweatpants go and check her out if you don't know her podcast she came to visit us um, in October 2023 and she brought amazing gifts including this which are my favorite socks and I try not to wear them <laughs> because I don't want them to you know be ruined or anything but uh, it's hard because I love them and I still wear them a lot um, yeah I need to make more socks so I can I, I have a few socks that I made but I want to make more and then I'm wearing a ripple bralette made out of an alpaca fingering weight yarn that I made two years ago I say and I'm wearing a ranunculus let's see this ranunculus um that i made again two years ago um with a i held together two strands of yarns one was a cotton and mohair blend and another one was a like a mix of bamboo and cotton fibers i think um so it's really like nice and breezy is the ranunculus pattern I pretty much knitted it like without doing many modifications I would say I really like it it looks very romantic and dreamy it's a pattern that 
many of you probably have knitted and or know about um, and if you never knitted it and you like the design I recommend it because it's it's really well well written and it's nice it's beginner friendly it's easy yeah I like it and then I'm wearing this super chunky um, Agnete cardigan by Petit Knit is I've been wearing this constantly this um, this winter I've been wearing it like a jacket on top of lots of layers and I love it it's a brioche pattern um, I would say intermediate level um, because there are little techniques that are they can be a little bit challenging but it's definitely well written and it's a pattern by Petit Knit and I love it I want to knit many more of these but it takes a long time to knit a brioche cardigan I really apologize for the noises um, my dogs the chainsaw of the neighbor they're cutting some trees um, they're quite far they're about a kilometer far on the mountain but I guess the echo or like you can still hear it so I apologize for the sounds I hope you can still hear me um, my microphone usually works well so I, I hope it's fine I hope you forgive me for the noise okay so that's what I'm wearing so Ranunculus Ripple Bralet the this beautiful cardigan and the socks for knitted objects and I haven't knitted the socks myself but the rest I have and uh, I love these garments so so let's start with the first whip which I'm having and this I need to remove this little label but this bag is by the knitting swan and it's the most gorgeous bag I own it's so beautiful it's a it's a beautiful beautiful drawstring bag and I'm having lots of yarns and a huge project sweater project in it so it's quite big and I love that it has this tiny tiny little things so you can also um, wear it across your body when you go out and like a like, kind of like a purse and the quality of this bag is just amazing in on the screen and on the website it looks beautiful but when you have it it just is so sturdy and nice the fabric is beautiful and the um, it's a small business the knitting swan and she I think her name is Tao if I'm not mistaken and sorry if I'm not, pro not pronouncing your name correctly um, but she also designs this the the little prints right so this one has some roses there are different ones and she's coming out with a new collection so I why do I put it out I really love uh, this bag and it has lining and um, pockets to hold stitch markers and things like that so I absolutely love this bag I feel very lucky very lucky to have it and in here I've shown this project before but we are making some progress <laughs> so this is the choose your own garden sweater and many of you asked me um, because you couldn't find the pattern it, it's a test knit I'm testing this so the pattern is coming out I think in May if I'm not mistaken so there is um, a little time before it will be published but it it will be published eventually and the deadline I think is the 12th of April so I still have a little little less than a month to finish it and I'm actually going to um, knit it short sleeves so it's going to be like a t-shirt um, but we'll see I still have yarn for long sleeves but 
um, that's kind of the original plan and it's a beautiful design so it's called the choose your own garden I mentioned it before because it's a all over color work pattern you can choose whether to knit just a color work yoke and then the rest of the body in like a main color stock in it or you can choose to have a full all over color work project and many people are choosing that option in our test knitter groups uh, group and um, it's amazing because you uh, the designer provides tons of different charts with also the length of each design of each chart so you can choose and measure like you can basically create your own garden in uh, or design in, in the on the sweater and I chose this kind of little flower pattern and there are so many so many different charts I'm currently I'm gonna show it so you don't really see because it's a paper pattern but I'm currently knitting this watering can and um, yeah I love it I love it however it's a fingering way project so I'm using needle size three millimeters and it's, it's taking a while and I'm currently knitting the watering can I just started it the other day and then I'll do the ripping and then the body will be done so I'm basically done with the body and then I'll just pick up stitches or like put the stitches back on the needles and knit uh, the sleeves and do a little ribbing on the sleeves so I love it I knitted it a little crop it, it looks very cropped but it's not actually and this yarn that I'm using is the Lama Silk by Yarbo this beautiful yarn I highly recommend it Lama Silk and it's actually very similar basically I would say it's super similar to an alpaca baby alpaca yarn so it stretches in the length so I'm happy very happy with the length of of this little t-shirt and I love it I love it I really love it I'm so in love with this and it took a while I think I could have prioritized it more um, the past month or so but I was really in the middle of a move <laughs> I had a lot going on in my life so I wanted like easier projects but now I'm kind of in the stocking it flow so it was easier but this yarn is amazing and when it comes to the con contrast yarns I'm using onion nettle and wool yarns in these three colors and then I'm using some scrap for you for the yellow um, because there is a yellow bit on the on the sweater so love this yarn as well and I still have a lot left of this nettle and wool fiber so I think I'm going to create a striped um, top for the summer because it's very it's not scratchy it's not so wooly I mean it has lots of wool inside but it also has nettle so feels really amazing that's one of the the work in progress projects that I've been working on and I really love it but it needs my undivided attention so I've been you know taking my time and I still have time you know the test knitting time period was quite long uh, I think we started it in February so a little over yeah three months then we have this one I thought I would have finished it for this um, episode but I didn't manage so this is a an old no it's not an old whip at all because I started it maybe two or three weeks ago um, maybe two weeks ago something like that and this is a ripple top ripple it's kind of like a camisole I 
took inspiration from the pattern Ripple Bralette by Jessie Mae Design. The one I'm wearing underneath is a pattern, it's the, my most knitted pattern. I've knitted that pattern four, five, six times, something like that. <laughs> Don't even remember. And it's beautiful. It's a three by three rib ribbed um, pattern. You just, it's knitted bottom up, but it's quite easy. It's kind of like knitting a hat, right? You just knit in the round and then you knit flat for a little bit, but it doesn't it really doesn't bother me and now I'm knitting the front the front the two fronts um, because he has kind of like a v-neck and I actually have enough yarn to knit the sleeves as well so Jesse May Design published um, a ripple crop top I think it's called, which is basically the ripple bralette or the ripple camisole with sleeves and I could do that but then I have to decide, I'm, I'm still not sure because I love the ripple bralette, I use it kind of like a undergarment as well but also alone in the summer, I love it and I'm using this gorgeous yarn, it's a cotton and linen blend by Novita Novita yarns, the linen love collection. Uh, so, love it, love that one. It's really an easy project. I started it because I really wanted uh, more of these garments. I use them in the summer. On to the next <laughs> working progress project. So, this one. So, I, my last kind of video it wasn't a podcast episode it was just a, a vlog a kind of a, a vlog and I talked about this amazing yarn that I received let me show you so Imagine Wool which is this beautiful Swedish company sent me a little sweater quantity of this absolutely gorgeous yarn so if we for those who never been here before, I'm a fan. I love alpaca fiber, alpaca yarns. I think it's my favorite um, animal-based fiber. I really love it. It's, it's amazing. And this is just a dream. It's so soft, so squishy, so drapey. And this is um, a a fingering weight yarn 50 grams per skein 200 meters so it's kind of yeah it's a fingering weight yarn and I had enough to knit a another Agnete cardigan I wanted to knit a another brioche cardigan with this yarn and I was really dreaming about this color and thinking my god I need to to create something and I need to hold it together with a silk mohair or a fluff or a suri alpaca to obtain gauge for this pattern and then so I was thinking whether I should buy a silk mohair that would match this color or go stash diving and um, and find some some silk mohair and I decided to go with my stash and knit and use all different type of colors all different crazy colors let me show you this is actually a full skein as you can see but the rest was mixed of full skeins and like little scraps so I'm mixing all of these different little crazy spring colors also this one with the baby alpaca <laughs> and I'm so in love with this it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I'm I'm the one go that is going to wear this. So I'm creating a brioche cardigan. It's full of little wood shavings <laughs> because of the greenhouse floor, and this is these are the colors. 
which I think really match well together. Yes, it's a bit crazy in the sense that it's not really like a muted uh, staple color cardigan, but I love it. So I wanted to knit a brioche cardigan, like a, the same of this cardigan, the Anette cardigan by Petit Knit. And I decided to swatch because I was like, I need to do like a, a gauge swatch and understand if my gauge is right. I need to see how the color can blend together. And so what I've done, I cast it on 17 stitches here and I kept on knitting for like 10 centimeters or something. And then I was like, this gauge swatch is so beautiful <laughs> that I want to continue knitting. And so I decided to increase, increase on the side, you know, with the brioche technique and then increase, increase. And I've done the first side of the cardigan and then I repeated the wall process for the second and then I picked up stitches and I knitted the back and now I'm f I finally joined the, the three pieces together and I'm I'm in love I'm absolutely in love I've been enjoying so much you know pairing the different colors together the different um, stripes are not the same length some of them are like a little thicker some of them are a little bit thinner um, I'm just super loving this and this squishiness is amazing and then eventually I'll knit the bottom band so I'll pick up stitches along the bot the the cardigan and the neckline and I'll knit the bottom band I still have to decide whether to knit a uh, double knitted bottom band like this one or just um, a you know one by one ribbed bottom band and then I'll do the I'll knit the sleeves in the round by picking up stitches along the armholes and uh, I'm loving it and it fits well I I just I just really love it I love these colors also together it's <laughs> And I love that I can use my stash. So, so this, I forgot to say that this one is my second entry. Along with this one, is this my first entry? So these two projects are um, projects that I'm knitting as part of a knit along that, that me and Ali are hosting. It's the Adventures in Stash knit along where you can... Uh, you know, you can knit anything you want to knit with your stash yarn. And I bet you have a little stash. Maybe it might not be like a super massive stash, but I'm I'm sure you have little bits of something. And uh, so if you want to participate, just tag us um, the Adventures in Stash Knit Along on Instagram. And by the end of the year, it's going to last a year, we'll uh, pick up some winners. We haven't decided the prices yet. Um, if you want to donate um, something for uh, for the knit along winners, you're welcome. You can contact us, but let's just knit in the meantime. <laughs> so yeah, this is the perfect project for this knit along because I'm using my stash yarn and I had all of these little one skein uh, or half of a skein of different colors of mohair so and I kind of I mean I had some projects in mind but I never really got around using them so I'm really happy that I can blend them in this beautiful on this beautiful cardigan I don't know to be honest if I'll be able to finish it for the spring um I would like to wear it this spring, but I'm, I'm not sure I'll be able to finish it. Um, it, it requires a lot of work, um, but I hope I'll be able to finish it for autumn. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so next project, I showed it in the previous, um, the previous video. I've been designing some socks. <laughs> 
<laughs> they're very simple and nice they have this kind of um, little cable which is super simple it doesn't look simple but it actually is very simple and I've been uh, uh, knitting the second one I didn't make so much progress but that's another whip and I have to publicly thank Carolina for writing down the pattern so in the previous episode I kind of um, share the recipe of the sock so if you want to go and check it out if you want to make it you can check the previous episode but Carolina took the time and care to actually write down the pattern for me so I can you know share it with you and I have I mean this community some women are just so amazing I mean Carolina you're so amazing know that with all your heart thank you so much for writing it down so we're going to I'm gonna knit another one I'm gonna finish this and knit another one and um, and then maybe I'll do a little I'll do a little test knitting call so if you wanna test knit it try it out stay tuned for that <laughs> but I have to thank Carolina because without her I wouldn't take the time to actually write down the pattern properly um, because my life is a little bit all over the place now that we're renovating this home and we're living here so I'm very excited to um, yeah knit another one and I actually been knitting this at a very tight gauge with a um, very thin needle like 2.25 millimeters needles um, but with a DK way yarn and I want to knit um, another version with a fingering way sock yarn and so we'll have maybe two options and for now there is only one size but I think you can uh, there is that trick that you can use a bigger needle to knit them bigger I guess so <laughs> it's I guess it's one of my first pattern or my first pattern that I I would probably publish so I have to thank Carolina without her I wouldn't be able to do that so thank you so much and it's so well written like I'm like wow so thank you so that's another whip I haven't been working on it super much and I've been working a little bit on this cardigan. I mean, this is taking forever. I started it in May last year, but I'm slowly reaching <laughs> the, the end of it. This is a beautiful cardigan that I'm knitting with a dream yarn. It's a little bit... Yeah. So it has this amazing little stitch like lace stitch all over the cardigan and in then it has this beautiful one by one knitted um, neck band and button band it doesn't have button holes and I'm not gonna add buttons but um, I love it so much and I still didn't buy this the third skein I bought only two skeins in May last year but this is an amazing yarn it's snail yarns um, wool and linen blend and I love it I want to find more linen and wool blend yarns if you know any please let me know in the comments um, I love it and I want to finish it I want to have it for the spring for this upcoming spring I want to finish it for middle of April so I can start wearing it maybe it won't be a full sleeve I think I will do it three quarter length sleeves that's the idea yes then <laughs> I spontaneously applied for a test knit and I got accepted I don't really have time for a test knit but um, I think this is going to be an easy one and I love it I love the designer as well so Anna Anderson 
Andy Knits on Instagram. She last year I actually test knitted the Dahlia skirt for her along with other test knitters and I love that skirt. It fits so well on my body and on everyone's body. It's just beautiful. And this year she's published she's going to release another design uh, which is the Marie skirt and it's I think it's a broken ribbed zero ease skirt very similar to the previous one but this is a a broken rib the other one had kind of like lots of yarn overs um it had more like holes in the on the sign um and I yeah I got accepted so I'm gonna cast it on today and I think I'm gonna use this yarn which is this chocolate brown silk yarn I cast it on a brioche cardigan with this one but I didn't like the yeah the gauge wasn't wasn't good so I decided to rip it back and use the yarn for this beautiful pattern um, I'll see if I can put a picture and I'm very very excited to to have the finished object and I think it's her patterns are well written she's kind of like a new designer she hasn't published many patterns but go and check her her designs out so I think I'll use this one yeah I I have tons of little projects that I'm working on and I love them all actually I'm sometimes I'm a little bit unhappy with the fit or the look of certain projects that I work on but other times I'm just full fully you know satisfied and this is the time I love all of these projects and even though some of them have little imperfections that's what make them beautiful for me so it's incredible outside is super cold but in here it's so cozy and i hope my seedlings will sprout and will feel cozy as well <laughs> i've been planting we're sowing lots of seeds so yeah i think we're done for today um thank you so much for joining me i I have dirty hands <laughs> because we're cooking on the fire stove so I'm constantly dirty my hands are constantly dirty <laughs> but that's okay we love that um, so yeah thank you so much for joining me today if you want to support my capacity to continue making videos and you want to throw me a few bucks um, a month uh, check out my patreon there we have a little beautiful community we do some live calls once every two months i would say it depends sometimes i publish extra content and then we have a whatsapp group where we share our daily lives uh, our daily life and our projects and pictures i love that that we i can see also what other people are doing and not only me sharing what i'm doing and um yeah i love i love our little patreon community and then if you don't if you don't want to support me on Patreon, you can buy me a coffee on Ko-Fi. I leave all the links in the, the little description box. Or you can just comment and like this video because that truly, truly helps as well. So thank you so much and I'll see you very soon with another vlog house renovation video. Bye. <laughs>